practice. I mean, the more, the, the reason in, in the beginning when I was first really, really starting to, to take bachata serious, again, me and my partner would be practicing offline, like in the house for hours. Hours out, and we would play song after song after song, and I would, you know, keep repping it out, and I would, you know, be getting feedback from it. Is this comfortable? Does this hurt? Do we need more pressure here? Is the hand angle okay? Blah blah blah. So I'm a perfectionist it's by nature, I guess. I don't know. I've always been like that since a kid. Um, but that's what helped me become a better lead. Um, also, I think taking as many classes as possible, uh, experiencing as many different instructors as possible, and therefore, from there, you'll know what you like what you don't like. Um, and even myself, to this day as a teacher, I sit in on a lot of workshops. You know, I don't go to to learn moves, um, but I, I go to listen to how they teach. So I'm, I'm trying, I can also become a better teacher. And, uh, you know, I listen to some of the tips that they give in class, and I was like, oh, okay, maybe I can do Maybe I can do that with, with my hand, you know, you know whatever, what, whatever the, the, the case may be. But I, I also sit on, but I sit in on bachata, I sit in on, uh, when I was in Australia, some Brazilian classes, I sit in on salsa classes, you know, I, and I just, and I watch, and I, and I, and I try to, you know, learn that way. Um, and then again, practice, so practice listening to the music, getting the timing down, listen, listening to the different uh, energies and different moods of songs, and you know, how to, you know, how, how maybe you can translate what the music is doing through your, through the actions of your body, and sometimes it starts in the seat of your car when you're driving, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, Practice, practice, but you can never, ever, ever stop learning. And once you think you've learned it all or know enough, it's downhill from there. Bad business, bad news bears. Because, uh, yeah, you, you know, you just kind of you, you shut everything off and you think, well, I know everything now, so why, why, do, I, why do I need to go to class? Really? You know, so you, you, you just put it, put the tap on your wall. You know, you're not, you're not going to grow any, you're not going to grow anymore. And um, someone's always going to, you're always going to get passed up. You got to keep up. You got to keep up with the new things always. And again, you, you start to familiarize yourself. You, you, you start to familiarize yourself with certain songs. Um, and so, when you, when a song that you remember will come on in the club, maybe you now you can start accenting different hits or start doing different things to what the music is doing. Um, but just you know, just slowly, slowly building your confidence. Um, I, I'm a junkie. I still listen to bachata music to this day, and I, and I try to pick up more patterns, you know, within the music and make sure because of the things that I teach, musicality-wise, I try to make sure that. The things that I'm teaching are, are constant, you know, in more than one song. So, yeah, I can explain this one particular song. I can break it down. But now, what about this, this next song over here? Is it are there the same, I guess, foundation, fundamental things? That, do they do the same things? Now, what's song number three? So I, I try to find, you know, a common ground with, with everything. So I'm listening to pitch out the music constantly, all the time, all the time. So the more repetition. You know, the better you get. And again, taking classes from different instructors because everybody has a different style. You know, my style is different from their style, which is different from their style, which is different from their style. You know, and you'll find what fits you. You know, you, as the individual, you'll find what you like the best and what fits you the best, and then start to you know gravitate more towards that type of you know music or dance or just that instructor or you know maybe ask that instructor that you like. Hey, you know, who taught you or where do you learn from? And then you know now you have more. Of, of, you know, just a bigger variety of, of information, and you know, it, it, it always, again, you're just constantly learning new things and seeing new things and experiencing new things. But you know, if you, again, you, if you limit yourself, it's gonna go downhill.